Hello, and welcome to your virtual field trip. My name is Deb, and I'm a teacher on special assignment at School Mental Health Ontario. We've partnered with our friends at OFIA to offer these virtual field trip videos on stress management and coping. This is the sixth and final video in the series. So far, we've learned about the following strategies. Breathing, muscle relaxation, visualization, distraction, and thought changing. Today, we are learning about gratitude as a possible strategy to help us cope with stress. Gratitude, what is that? Gratitude is when we think about the good things and the special people in our lives and then show that we're thankful. Feeling grateful is much more than saying please or thank you. It's a, it's a way for your mind to think about things and it's something you can practice. Gratitude can lead to good feelings for you and for the people you show your gratitude to. For example, my son shows his gratitude by giving me a big hug. This leads us to both feeling good. Some of you might already be very good at showing gratitude, but you might not realize all the wonderful benefits. In this video, you'll learn why gratitude can be useful you'll learn how you can practice gratitude, and you'll also hear examples of gratitude from students your age. Remember, each of us is unique and strategies that work for some might not work for others, and that's okay. It's our hope that throughout this virtual field trip video series, you'll find something that works for you. Now, let's get started. Hello, my name is Tracy Groves and I'm a social worker with School Mental Health Ontario. Did you know that when we show others our gratitude, thankfulness, it can also help us to feel good and healthy? When we stop and notice the things in our lives that we're grateful for, it can help us manage uncomfortable feelings. I'd like to show you a few reasons why gratitude is helpful. Gratitude can help us feel closer to our friends and family. When we say thank you and show other people that we like what they do for us, it can help us to feel more connected to those who are important to us, such as family, our friends, and other important people like our teachers. Gratitude can grow. When we stop and notice the things that we are thankful for, we feel good, which promotes good feelings of happiness. When we feel happy, we're more friendly with others and we feel more ready to do things that are challenging for us. Gratitude be can be contagious. When we feel grateful for someone being kind to us, then we might be kind to someone else. Also, when we show people that we're thankful, it's more likely that we'll do another act of kindness. All this kindness and gratitude and thankfulness builds and builds and becomes bigger and reaches more people. When we practice taking time to stop and notice the little things in our life that we appreciate, it becomes a habit and we start to notice more special and joyful moments. Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well during this time. My name is Huda and I'm a social worker at School Mental Health Ontario. Now that we understand what gratitude is and why it helps us, let's look at four steps that can help us learn how to be better at being grateful. Stop. Stop for a moment and notice a person, place, or thing that you want to appreciate. Did someone do something kind for you? Did you participate in an activity that brought you joy? Think. Think about why you received this kindness. What are some reasons why you're thankful for this person or thing? Feel. What emotions are you feeling when you think about this special person or special thing that you are grateful for? How do you feel? Happy, excited, calm, or proud? Do. This is the action that you take to express your appreciation. What can you do to show your thanks for this person, place, or thing? 
Now, let's have a look at what gratitude looks like in action. Hi, my name is Andrea and I am an educator. I am also an OFIA ambassador. I want to share with you how I practice showing gratitude while I participate in some activities. Some of the activities may be challenging, but they give me an opportunity to show how gratitude can move me along the way. So, what does thinking positively look like, sound like, and feel like for you? Let's stop. Notice what makes you happy. Think. Look how far you've come. Just think of how far you can go with more practice. Feel. Pay attention to how you are feeling now and what has changed. Don't give up. Do you see how your feelings change when you persevere and keep trying? Do. Is there something you can say to yourself? Is there something you want to share with someone? We asked Ontario students your age about gratitude. Here's what they had to say. I'm grateful for my friend. I'm grateful for the people and the land we live on. We can show gratitude with our land acknowledgement. Daddy, Mommy, and Peanut. That's why I made three hearts. I am thankful for the earth. I show gratitude by picking up garbage. I'm grateful for Dad. I help him to let him know. I am grateful for my bike. I can thank my grandma for giving it to me by helping her clean up. I can ride my bike lots to show her I am grateful for it. I'm thankful for my friends and my family and my teachers. Let's take a moment to stop and think of a person, including yourself, a place or a thing that you want to appreciate. What can you do to show your gratitude for this person, place or thing? Educators, Please refer to the virtual field trip lesson plan for activities to help consolidate this learning. We also encourage you to revisit the Student Mental Health Action Kit for further supports and resources. Thank you for joining OFIA and School Mental Health Ontario on this virtual field trip. We hope you find these strategies helpful. Educators, don't forget to stay connected by following OFIA on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at OFIA Canada. Also, follow School Mental Health Ontario at SMHO underscore SMSO on Twitter and follow our youth account on Instagram at ThriveSMH.